Hey guys. So people who saw the extinction Let's Try are going to have flashbacks a little bit here because uh, we once again have a case where I got a code for a game and when I requested the code I did it for the purpose of doing like a full series on it. I was like, oh, let's get into this. And then much like extinction, this game was met with just overwhelmingly negative feedback. And I'm like, I am a little perturbed. Already I was slightly hesitant to do a full series just because I kind of wanted to do the games in order. I actually don't know if this is a sequel or prequel or what, but I actually I actually do have Fear Effect 1 on PS1 and I've never played it before. And I've just, it's just, I, I found it on sale. I, it's one of those, it's a thrift store find where I just found it. I'm like, oh yeah, all right. That maybe one day, so I just put it in my back pocket. Uh, no, I, I, I bought it at the store at the counter. I didn't, I didn't literally put it in my back pocket and just take it. Uh, uh, and so this came out as a surprise that they made a new fear effect uh, An indie studio got a hold of the license and did this and I was curious uh, but boy oh boy that The feedback is so appallingly negative that I think I'm gonna go ahead and just try strike this one off the list. There's just so many games that I'm planning on covering and I I'm I think I'm just gonna let this one be a let's try Let's see what happened, everyone. As per always, if you want to check out more of the game, you can find the link in the description to the Steam page, but it's also on PS4 and Switch, and maybe something else. I don't remember. It's at least on those things. But it does have a Metacritic of a, a 44, which is... Once it gets low enough, it gets more worrying. Not interested. You're dead. They are all fucking dead. What the hell? Guts? Fish guts? Shit. Show yourself. Show yourself! Hello? Excuse me. I was waiting for someone and... Ah! There she is! If they're all morons like this one, we should be home for dinner. Oh, special meal? Hmm, the sushi bar phone number is on my desk. Ah, clear. Ready? I'm right behind you. Oh man, seeing those two talking to each other just makes me want a new Perfect Dark game so bad. One where they make the blonde secondary character that they never acknowledge in the original game actually a character because the only way because co-op so fun in those in that game oh we did get zero let's not think about that oh wsd to move i totally thought it was going to be like click to move the target will be in the back room surrounded by a spell of creatures they're all for show like servers or something what's up here Can I shoot? What do buttons do? I guess I'll just passively wait for the game to explain things. There you go. Left control enters stealth mode. Sneaking reduces vis a noise and visibility. While sneaking, you can kill enemies by pressing F, but only if they don't detect you. There's someone. He's turned and alone. I'll ambush him. Watch my back. You're s lady, you're supposed to be in stealth mode. Come on. What? She's walking around in not stealth mode. What are you doing? How do I make her go in stealth mode? She's just following me standing up like a lunatic. Uh, ah! Ah! <laughs> Why weren't you taking cover? I thought you are like a special agent. 
Uh, fight. Select your target with the cursor and press left click to shoot. R is reload. Your gun will also reload automatically when the magazine is empty. Uh, left shift is roll. When you're rolling, you take less damage. Fuck that. How do I How do I take cover? Oh, you do. You do have. To, okay. I think it just said left click to select your target, which is not the most accurate Don't way of putting that. Don't keep the fun part all to yourself. Sorry, I'd love to share, but this door is not cooperating. Did you ask nicely? Nearly. There's nothing I can do from here. I'll go and check the other way. Security systems offer no resistance to me. I'll save the princess. Good luck. Maybe, I don't know, am I misremembering it or not? I, I could have sworn it said that, uh, it says click to select your target. So I thought you'd click on them and then he'd, they'd start attacking, like auto attacking or something. Instead it was like, left click to shoot, which is kind of a different implication. Okay, so that's how you control the other character. I bet this door is open now. Yep. Skills are unique for each character. Unlike regular weapons, skills have limited ammunition. Loot the am ammunition on enemies or on objects throughout the level. You can switch weapons and skills by pressing 1, 2, 3, or clicking directly on the icons in the bottom. Hi guys. No time to play. Wanna try my taser? I have healing? Apparently taser, because she just said taser. Huh. Can I look around? I don't think I can see further than the current camera sees, which is rough because that guy's vision cone is as big as my entire screen. Taser? Oh wow, look at that range. Huh. Oh shit, that was close. You're healthier than the, than the other one was. Fear influences the strengths and weaknesses of characters. The higher your fear, the higher damage you'll deal, but the lower your resistance will be. Fear rises when your characters get hurt, when they're surrounded, or when they face, uh, fa face stressful events. To reduce your fear, you can use a medkit. So, use V? Now my fears, my BPM's down to 60. So this is cover. You just walk up behind the cover, basically. Part of me is a little surprised that this is all fully in real time and also not and not RTS controls actually. Like the whole control an individual character and move them around is kind of a surprise. Hold V to heal your wounds with the medkit. Using a medkit takes time. Make sure you're in a safe place. When a medkit can rev with a medkit you can revive other characters if, uh, efficiently. You can still revive someone without a medkit, but it will be far less effective. So that's a bonus medkit. Oh, click. F. There we go. F is pick up. Same way you knock somebody out. Look, I found the princess. You'll have your reward. Meanwhile, how do we proceed? We just need to push the button at the same time. I expected something tough. <laughs> so much disappointment. We've done it. Wait for me here. Follow me. So pressing X chains them so they move as a group, and then you tag you tag it off. But like, why does she not crouch when I crouch? If I'm if I'm grouping them, shouldn't they both crouch when one of them crouches? Otherwise, why go the other way? Uh, let's reload both weapons. She has thirty shots. They have sixteen, but two guns. Hmm. Oh, two batteries. Bouncing bullet? And what's this? How do I view what these skills are exactly? Uh, kill the target in red. That's the objective. Who's the king of the Tactics. When you want to enter in tactical pause, press space. In tactical pause, the time's frozen so you, you can plan the actions of all your characters more strategically. Give them orders by controlling them like an active mode. Cancel your orders by pressing right click. When you press space again, your orders will be validated and you'll go back to active mode. 
Whenever you want to take back the direct control of a character who follows an order, simply move. Synergies are combinations of two skills uh, of two different characters. To create a synergy, use two compatible skills at the same time, and it will create a powerful attack. Try different combinations of skills to find new synergies. I'm going to say let's probably try the one skill we have right now. Because we only have one skill. Oh, oh, it's the it's similar to the setup we had in a... Uh, in Transistor, I'd say. See if that works, I guess. Rather a queen in red. Good evening, guys. That didn't really amount to much, really. Oh well. Just gonna shoot them. We're Seem done. Seems like just shooting everyone would be more effective than trying to use that. You look pale. You okay? Just a scratch. If they're talking about somebody being okay or not, and actually the person that was acting like they're fine is the person that actually took the most hits. So was the main, was she, I, I think of her as the main character because I think she's the one that was on the cover of the original game, but I don't really know. Uh, was she just st standing there? Like I started shooting everyone, was she just uh, passive? I found the tough job. What's that? It's a booby trapped cargo. Shit, how do we defuse it? There will be puzzles throughout the game. You have to think them through to resolve them. That's what puzzles are. Beware, some clues are hidden in the level. Don't forget to look around. Okay. Okay. And then maybe clues around. Diamond is 2-3. Are there other clues? Okay, you're 3-1. Let's try this. No, I count them. It was two, three. Oh, there's rings. There's numbers of rings. So, diamond was two, three. You were three, one. What? Oh. Is that not what it said? Shit. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> I failed this tutorial, you guys. Okay, we're still here. So there's that. So diamond uh Wait split up. Here. Thought it was 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. Did I do 1-3? I assume there's just another poster somewhere with the other symbol. Two. So, two, three, two, three, one. Cargo is saved and competitors are ruled out. Enough for today. Let's go home. What? How did I fail the first time? Maybe, maybe I did 1 3 instead of 3 1. Maybe the order was the point. Another good payday. It was quite fun. Does your arm still hurt? The payday is mitigating the pain. Story of my life. Ours. We should 
buy a rooftop flat. But we wouldn't take the lift anymore. Good point. You don't like it anymore? Too long in one place gets me. You know. Places. Okay. What about people? Like weapons and clothes. Once I find something I like, I stick with it. Use. Smoke. Smelly. Don't care. Selfish. Smash cut to gameplay. Huh. Okay. I guess something nasty is going on. I'm going. Watch my back. I'll follow. Get out of my house. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. <laughs> Won't let me shoot him. Last idiot that broke into our place left out the window. And it's a long way down. Forgive the intrusion. I am unarmed. Even if that is a lie, it's about to be the truth. Who the hell are you? You have 30 seconds before I shoot you down. Then to the point. I'm here to offer you a mission. A very well-paid mission, I might add. We don't take missions from people infiltrating our home. Let me introduce it. Choice is yours. 30 more seconds. Here's the target. Loves antiques. He owns a statuette that we would really love to have. We aren't thieves. Want one of those? Try them all at lunchtime. You are mercenaries. Which means we can agree on a fair financial arrangement. That makes you trustworthy persons. Depends on the financial arrangement. Who's the ex? The Chinese ambassador to France. Embassy. And embarrassments. Triad's manners. Brilliant. That's why we need your skills to take him out and get the statuette. I've left my number and your number on the tablet. Please consider one and then contact the other. Let's keep an eye out. He might have forgotten something. Have you considered just waiting out front like a like a non-lunatic? If you don't want people to point guns at you. What just happened? I just pressed F and I went ticket 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 and then that was it. Nothing happened. Huh. Nothing special here. I guess we're just investigating. Is there food on that? Can I zoom in? I can't zoom in. There's like food on that pan. A bonus totem that does something, I assume. I don't know how to open my inventory or character screens or if those are things or not. It looks like he didn't touch anything. I don't see anything left. He came alone and empty handed. Good news, I guess. He beat the security system. He's more than just a mouthpiece. And he's got money. A lot of it, which he is willing to give to us. I don't know. Doesn't smell good. But didn't stop you before. It's really well paid. And besides, I'm pretty sure I have already met this guy. Which one? The Ambassador. He reminds me of someone. Someone I had to fight against. I'm just not sure. It's not really his face. It's more... Sounds even worse. Yep wasn't a mission. Don't tell me that was in hell. Who knows? That's why I'm so curious. Why would the Triads have any interest with this one? No doubt you want to go now. I never took you to Paris. It's time. And a good occasion to discover my birthplace. And infiltrating an embassy. What a wild weekend. I like when you go wild. Because I'm wild and wooly. More seriously. We should ask for support. Who were you thinking about? Deke. We haven't worked together for a while, but I'm sure he'll be in for this mission. Anyway, he always needs money. 
A trip to Paris with you and Deke. How romantic. I'm enjoying the aesthetic so far. The voice acting slightly odd. It's like paced weird, even like it's edited strangely. So let's sum everything up again. Rain and I will access the embassy via the rooftop. Deke will be introduced as a servant. Obviously my resume was perfect for this mission. You'll look amazing with an apron, as usual. Rain, you'll have to get rid of security drones before I climb. I already have everything I need to know about their system. I'll be quick. You'll cover us from the roof, and I'll get into the offices. Deke, you'll gather as much information as possible from guests and hosts. We'll stay in contact and join when we're sure where the statuette is. I'll bring your weapons. Pity we couldn't find where it is now. I'm sure you don't want to miss the party. True, French girls. Don't even look at her better half. Once I have the statuette, everything will move quickly. We will go out from the south offices so Rain can focus on our target. All the rooms for the party are on this side. There's no way the ambassador can escape from your sight. If something goes wrong, I'll deal with it. Not on your lonesome, Sheila. Dealing with problems is why I get out of bed in the morning. And it brings in the money. Wait, he's supposed to be Australian? <laughs> is that... Wait, is that what they were going for? He sounds kind of far away from his microphone compared to the other people. Which is not a common thing I get to say, but he sounded weirdly far away, like he was inaudible. Huh. I'm set up. I see the technical room. Guards are on their way. Okay, be careful. And stay hidden until you enter that room. Can that drone spot me? Should I be worried about that? Oh god, he's coming up here. Oh, oh, everyone, I'm dead. Super dead. I stayed hidden so well. <laughs> Good job, me. Damn. That uh, didn't go well. How do I tell where I'm going? I'm set up. Uh, no objectives listed now. Guards are on their way. Okay, be careful and stay hidden until you enter that room. I guess I could just kill dudes. If I just kill them, then I don't have to deal with them all stacking up on me like that. I'm gonna kill you dead. You won't even know how dead you are, because you'll be dead. That's way easier. <laughs> Ghost mode is gonna be rough with that many overlapping cones. I'll connect my device. It'll be quick. To that or Are this door? Oh, was that was that what I was supposed to do? Hack the drones. Okay. Do I go up this thing? Up the ladder? No. Holy shit! Okay. It's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> that was not... Alright. Learn by doing. What was I supposed to hack? All right, we'll go back inside. I tried pressing F on this weird machine in the middle of the room. I just missed the prompt. Wait, oh, now it's here. What? I tried that. Wait, what is it? Whoa, what am I looking at? Um... Okay, we're like matching the shapes to each other. 
I got gotcha. you. There we go. Uh, you're probably this giant one. I'm guessing that. There we go. And the next one is a diamond. You. There we go. Done. Drones out. You can go inside. Don't. Now this time we probably hopefully won't be horribly horribly murdered. I'm I'm really amused by the instant fail cutscenes at the very least that they have they're fully animated and everything. <laughs> oh, I should be crouching. Oh. Mistake were made. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Ow. Forgot to be crouching immediately. Thankfully, I guess I have a silenced weapon because nobody notices. Ooh, that's a familiar reload stock sound. Taking me right back to Perfect Dark. Hannah, path is clear here. Target locked. Okay, I'm in place. Let's wait for fresh info. First time in my life I ever put a drink in someone's hand, but me own. I'm very Australian, believe me. Mate. <laughs> Approach groups of guests and listen to their conversations. Find the important conversations. If the ear icon becomes green, it means you heard something useful. If it's red, it wasn't. In order to stay discreet, you have to serve the guests with a red exclamation point above their head. You can pick drinks up at the buffet table. Whenever you serve a guest, the gauge to the bottom right side will rise. If the gauge is empty, it means you are too suspicious and you lose. Okay. Hello, would you like a drink? Thank you. More drinks for me. So, oh, a drink please. I'll serve you a drink. Yes. Here you go. I kind of wish they could come up with dialogue for what you're overhearing instead of it just being green or red and then no context. It's sneaky time. Oh, that was useless. There you go. For God's sake, be careful. Who's he saying that to? Because it's not me. Is it just? Is this just a whole like room full of worry warts? Like everyone's just freaking out all the time and concerned, and they're just telling all their friends to be, be careful because they're just very fearful people. <laughs> Am I out of champagne? I can't serve them champagne. But I clearly have champagne on my bottle, on my thing, right? Ah, I lose. Huh. That meter goes down fast. You haven't served champagne for like 10 seconds? You must be a spy. Kill him. <laughs> God damn. I guess I ran out of champagne. I thought that the number of champagne on my bottle, on my, on my platter might change. And that might help me tell, help me tell how many there are, but I think I ran out. Where on my screen is my champagne? Time in my life I ever put a drink in someone's hand, but me own. Oh, it was even funnier the second time. Uh, oh, this is how much champagne I have, probably. They call me the overhearer because I overhear everything. Oh. Yep, okay, so I have five bottles there. I was looking at that. I was, I was looking at the actual character model, and I'm like, I... He still has four.
Where's this person going? They're just walking into a wall. They probably walked over there to fart. <laughs> yeah, that one was useful, whatever that means. I, I don't really have context for it, so it's just like, yeah, sure, useful intel, I guess. Oh, I walked through that guy. More alcohol, yes. Okay, so I have two. I must I must need five, judging by the corner of the screen there. I need five pieces of useful intel. I can't overhear anything here. Everyone wants champagne, but no one wants to talk near me. It's almost like I'm suspicious and creepy. There's just random people around the room shouting to be careful. Like, without any context. It's really weird. I gotta go back. I was way too liberal with this, the champagne servings. And just ran out immediately. For God's sake, be careful! Hey, we're at four out of five. Wow, you have long range champagne passing powers, by the way. I was like five feet away. Come on, give me a green. Hey, I got something for you. Tell me. The room's five floors above the reception room, so right before the roof. Lots of stuff, lots of guards. Mention the security room near it, too. And a big, fancy protecting door. Got it. I'll have to follow a group. Anything else? Yeah, heard about server machines. Great. I have something to feed them. Cheers, yeah. I'll see you at the top. These loading times are actually kind of significant for what it's doing. I'm in place waiting for the ambassador. Security's high. I saw him moving. He should arrive soon via the lift. You'll need him to access the secret room. Follow the group. I won't harm him yet. I promise. Good hunting. It's sneaky time. The game looks nice, both in cutscenes and out. But so far I haven't done anything interesting with my hands. The part where I play a video game. Oh, good thing I teleported behind that couch or I would have been in trouble. Is that person gonna come up over from over there? Uh oh. Is that my target? They'll never see me back here, haha. -ha. Is that just a guard? Follow the ambassador. Ooh, boy. That's the ambassador, right? It's okay, if I blow my cover, my bouncing bullet will save the day. <laughs> that will achieve maximum cover when the bullet bounces. Please don't walk over here. Please don't walk over here. Please. Please. Uh-oh. No, don't walk over here. How many guards are there? There's too many guards. Ooh. I'm afraid they're going to look over here. They kind of are. They can't see past that thing, apparently, though. Very limited line of sight, these, uh... Yeah, they're, they actually entirely staff blind uh, blind guards. Uh, it's a uh, part of a opportunity program to help the uh, the less abled. Not the most forward... Not, not the best thought out What's one, but... <laughs> Door closed right after the ambassador. I can't follow him. Any alternative route? Deke mentioned server machines. That could help. Just kick the door down. We can do it. Is he coming this way? Oh, he can't see through the glass walls? Is that true? That's not a door, is it? Is 
said server machines? It's probably in there with all the people. I'm gonna have to start stabbing people to death, I think. Right after this person turns around, they die. You lived for approximately 30 years until this date, and now you die. Oh, good. there's actually a lot of guards around. Oh, boy. My chance of uh, blinding, blindsiding that person was not the best. Yaha! No one will find you here, I hope. Please. Okay, that person's gonna turn around. Your, your vision's limited. Oh boy. Don't come over here, please. Oh man. That guy sees the door, doesn't he? Oh no, he doesn't. Oh, I can kill that guy when he's at the door and nobody will, will ever find him because that's how far the line of sight goes. Okay. And you're dead. And nobody suspected a thing. Nope. Audio's skipping a bit. Yes. Yes. Die. A good old one two stab. Where you stab somebody and then they just die instantly. As all guards do. Shit, he's gonna turn around. <laughs> Got him. Oh, don't get seen. Cool. Exiting stealth mode. Let's look around. Can I. Is there anything in this room to press F on? Oh, I think that person's gonna see him. Shit. Wait, did you not... Are you not reacting to the dead person you just found? Okay. You can die too, I guess. This alternate route seems to kind of be panning out. Oh, there, that's a server room, if I've ever seen one. Press F on that, no? Oh, we probably have a puzzle to solve. As promised by the game. Server status, number of attempts, what? Enter the code to unlock. Number of attempts, we have three attempts to enter some kind of code. How? Boot priority. DFHB CEA The numbers F H B How do I leave? Press C to close. There we go. Um Okay, so there's six server things. Grab my pen and paper real quick. Alright, so... I'm gonna draw two squares, like the Windows logo, basically. Where it's a square, square made of four squares. I'm gonna write them down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna cross out five, and I'm gonna cross out two. Those are the two that are currently turned off. I think that the boot order is the alphabetical order of the that in which the, the numbers are used. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can't you you skip two and five because they're turned off, and then you enter the letters in the order of the boot order. Let's see, which is C E A. That's F, H, B. So A is... Let's see. I'll write D and cross it out. And what's the other one? G and cross it out. Okay, so A equals 4. The B equals 8. C equals 1. D is skipped. E is 3. F is 7. G is skipped. H is 6. So based on that, the code is probably 481376.
3376. Yeah, first try. There we go. That was that was an easy code to figure out. Just need a little bit of writing it down. Uh, in part because of the fact that things were flashing in and out, but also just wanted to make it make it easy to remember that stuff. It should be fine. We did it. Well done. I'm done playing games. Back to business. Man. What an inconvenience, am I right? Oh, I can loot stuff off the bodies, right? They mentioned that. It's like, what an inconvenience, am I right? The freaking door oh, closes in front of me, so like six people have to die. Anna, what's L? Axel, it's been a long time. But... Don't even... Shit, what's wrong here? There are just too many. Jeez, was they with you? Of course not. Your Excellency, don't... Uh, no! Well, that didn't pan out, did it? Pew, 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 pew. What's a bouncing bullet do? Pew. I don't know, I used it up and I couldn't see what it did. <laughs> <laughs> did, it do, did it do something cool? Did you guys see it? I bet it was really cool. I'm just gonna choose just to believe it was really cool because I did it. Anyway, that fight's over. God, combat's not interesting. <laughs> I just... I kind of can't get over how not interesting combat is. You just click on all the dudes to kill them, basically. I don't even know what you would use the tactics thing for. Besides making your characters less responsive and stuff. Ooh. I'm not... I'm not sure. I think they saw that in other games and were just like, that looks like a cool idea, and it is. But didn't necessarily make a game that really incentivizes that kind of tactics. So I guess we met up with a character that must have been from the previous games too. And that guy got super killed, so he's done. Making sure they both reload. What's your weapon? I guess it's just a crossbow. Maybe it has sleep darts or something, I don't know. I am going to murder you with the if button. It is the thing that makes you the deads. Oh, there's their overlapping patrols. Oh well, let's just kill everybody. Pew 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 pew. Axel, you had one Axel, you had one job. How did you not kill the one person you were fighting? What? Oh I fought two people, Axel. What's wrong with you? What's your excuse? I guess I should have revived them with the med kit. Wait for me here. They will stab. They is stabbed. Oh no, who do? Who do the stabs? Very scary. We should we should investigate the stabbing. But not very well. <laughs> Definitely don't want to like walk towards the next room to investigate stabs. Are they, are they for real? They're just gonna stand there and spin? It is time to try an extra tactic. Where I press two. Oh shit, they're out of range. Oh, they're, they're bored? I guess bored with the murder that happened? I guess they're bored about the murder that happened. Alright. Maybe unnecessary to use this then. Not... Oh boy. Pew! Did that hurt people? I guess it did. They just walked straight at you. Damn. Pew! Bouncing bullet. Alright. I don't think the AI is gonna take care of itself in this game. Which is weird because uh, I don't know how you can't controlling two at once is kind of crazy. Let's go. And the tactics seemed like it wouldn't go over very well. I don't know. 
there's a there's a certain feeling I got when I first used the tactics mode in Transistor, and that's not the feeling I got when I used it in this game. Oh, that, I guess that's a door. The level just kind of turned black. Fight your way to the shuttle. And a big deal. It'll be easy with our zero stuff. Oh boy. Oh, we have no health. security drones fighting us. They aren't the ones rain hat. Shit. We have to reach deep at our arrival spot quickly. Stop that. No, bad drone. Are we going this way? A bonus totem? Oh, I didn't even see that. Ow. Right, my characters have no health left. How's the fear going? Surprisingly, not that much fear despite the being about to die thing. Ooh, there's one. It's a good thing my very loud gun that's not silenced doesn't attract anybody from far away. That would be investigating gunshots. Otherwise, we'd really be in trouble with this health pool. There's not even cover to take around here, is there? Like, does that even... Yeah, I don't get a shield icon. I need more, like, crates to hide behind. You can't walk up that? Nope. What's going on is I'm going to use you because you have a health bar. We've got backup. It's Sneaksville time. You dead. They call me the murderer. It's not really a nickname. I'm just, I just kill people. That's really the whole thing. They repopulated the entire roof with new guards. How many guards do you guys have? They've been dead for like five minutes. You didn't even mourn them. Oh shit. I was, I wanted to test whether that works or not. It doesn't. <laughs> you cannot, oh crap. I meant to be behind cover. That didn't work out. Hi, goodbye everybody. It's nice knowing you. Pew. You get the- you get the bouncing shot. Could be going better. Could be going significantly better. I don't have any healing. Oh boy. Hey guys, welcome back to being alive. I, uh, really messed up. We gotta get the bonus totem. There's a bonus totem down there. It's very important to our mission. I, I, I know it's fear effect, and like, there were two games already, but I, oops. But I can't look at this game without thinking of Perfect Dark constantly. Down to the two protagonists, with black, with uh, dark hair and light hair, and the, like, I feel like we, I just did the data dying extraction. I can't think, I can't not think of that. Even the office building on the inside felt similar. Do we have a guest? Let's see, what were you doing here? Same question for you. Who's your target? Can someone just explain who he is? Already met in Asia. He's DGSE. Looks like he loves ancient arts, too. French Secret Service. Company man, eh? The name's Axel. As far as we know, right? Right. Ambassador's protection. Well done. So you were here. I bet he was your target. I won't tell you. There is valuable information we can trade. Let me guess. Art pieces? 
I was here to spy around. The ambassador was in our traffic, but no proof. There's more than that. Ancient artifacts from several cultures have disappeared these last months. We had a track. Now the ambassador is dead. I need a team. We have a cost. Well, not if you fail. Close enough. Well, we can get the money if we finish it, but I don't trust the Frenchie. Me neither. The statuette stolen by the commando. Your goal. Bloody hell, Axel, you always come with trouble. There are people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. What do I get? I said it. The information leading to our next stop, where the statuette is. Tell us. Well, last year some museums lost some art pieces from their stock. Same in private collections. Just small pieces. Took months to notice that something was on the go. Especially Asian, Northern, and Eastern European artifacts. None of the usual receivers have seen them. We started investigations and watched the collections that could interest the robbers, like the ambassadors. At least you were right. Oh no. Sounds like there's something else. <laughs> We've dealt with something else before, mate. It didn't go so well. What's your offer? You have the statuette. I have information. So how much do you pay? The unofficial but well-paid French government's gratefulness. Plus price of your original mission. Double. Triple. What she said. And additional travel costs. Meaning? Where's your track leading us to? Far away. North. I lost contact with one of my informers in Nook. Nook? Greenland? Ah, oh, I don't do good in the cold. You don't do good anywhere. True words, my love. Do we have a deal? Up to you, but money. We have a deal. We follow the track, we grab the statuette, and we clear off. No more. Where's your meeting? That's the docks, 8 p.m. No news. Maybe you shouldn't go alone. Better to split up and grab as much information as possible. Hotel 2200. If you're not there... I'd better be dead. Got it. Rain, you and Deke play the wealthy tourists. See what you can find out with the locals there. We're wealthy? Sure. Axel's inviting us. Come on, face. We're gonna be the richest and happiest visitors in this very... touristy place. Is there at least a bar in the hotel? Indeed. He is French. Oh, come on. So, see you at 10 p.m. Yeah. Deke, don't sleep in my bed. And don't steal my girl. No worries. No promises. I was planning to sneak in the city museum. They have archives. If some items were stolen, so no. I take it. Welcome. Are you looking for something or visiting? Hi, I'm looking for information about Inuit arts and crafts. Is there anything I can read about that here? Sure. You can get access to the collections by taking a tour of the museum or consult the archives as well. Here's the catalog. Each reference has a special code. You can open the related drawers with these buttons. Oh, thanks a lot. I think that's a decent place to cut it for here on our one-off. Uh, I really like looking at this game, both in cutscenes and out. The art style's fantastic, I think, and unfortunately I kind of find myself wanting to watch the cutscenes on mute, though. The, uh, both of the women voice actors are alright. They feel a little flat and rushed a little bit, like, almost like they're edited strangely or they don't have voice direction or something, but the, the two guys are just confusing. They, uh, I assume they're both, uh, like, really American and just doing really... Uh, awkward accents that I don't know it sounds like it sounds like what I sound like when I'm just like I'm going to try to do an accent now haha -ha. and it's like a joke or something but uh, that's like the main characters I think that's I think those four people are like the main cast you spend the whole game with it's weird uh, I could deal with the voice acting though if 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 that was the only issue but really it's just I don't want to play this game anymore, really. Like, I'm already, like, over it. The, uh... The, the gameplay itself, like, there's much better stealth gameplay out there to be found if you want to do the stealth part. 
which is the most basic thing of sneak up behind dude, hit, hit, hit the kill dude button, and stuff like that. There's a lot of much more involved stealth games out there with a lot more options, and uh, I could play Invisible Ink or a bunch of other different things, and uh, the gunplay is just a weird mess, and I don't, I just, I don't, I'm not into it. I'm not into it. This game makes me want to play other games, basically. Like, or, like it, 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 it has just enough positive feelings it conjures up with the, with the nice visuals and setting, but it makes me want to just turn around and play the other games in that, in that kind of setting that I've played before, like Invisible Ink and Perfect Dark, probably, that are just like, yeah, let's go in there and do this again, because it's a, it's a nice place to be. Hmm. I'm curious. I I think that the same people are handling what might be a... I think they're making a remake of the original Fear Effect. So I, maybe we'll check back, back in when that happens and uh, see how that one turns out. But I think I'm going to call it here, guys. If you want to check out the game for yourself, there's a link to the Steam page in, in the description. Or you can find it on your local video game console, probably. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. And I'll see you next time.